Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is that time of the month again and it is time for the Owl Crate unboxing. As per usual, we have our unofficial mascot, Mr. Bandit, helping us today. Because I've been at work all day, so of course he needs to be near me at all times. And okay, so let's just get into it. Now this is technically August's box. Um, it was delayed because, you know, huh, supply chain and everything is just great right now. Um, I apologize if the lighting is kind of crappy. It is currently raining outside, so we'll see if I have to stop this video and turn a light on. So the theme this month is Dark Academia. This is what it looks like. Ooh, it seems like it's, it is stuffed to the brim, so... Oh, interesting. It says from the library of, so I guess you can stamp this in your books and then write your name on it or I don't know, but that's pretty cool to stamp. <clears throat> um, we have some tea, which I don't drink tea. I do. I just drink iced tea. And this is Ealingham Academy Brew. I'm not sure what that's from. It's, it kind of looks like that. Can't really smell it. Oh, and the a pin is on top this time instead of down near the book. And it is a typewriter that's got a piece of paper in it that has something uh, in Latin on it. So interested to see what that's about. And then I see this little box and it says, it is better to know one book intimately than a hundred superficially. Very true. Oh, oh, it's a Christmas ornament. That's what it looks like. And it has the same quote on the inside. That is very pretty. Um, I don't put up a Christmas tree because my cat would uh, destroy it. But I really like this. Um, box. I'll definitely put that on my bookcase. Then I see <clears throat> um, a little notebook maybe. And it says per aspra ad astra a de lecture classical conservatory. And that's what it looks like. And then on the back it says we were always surrounded by books and words and poetry all the fierce pa passions of the world bound in leather and vellum. So it's just a little notebook that oh, uh, closes with a snap. So we've got this, we got like a little pen, a notepad, some sticky notes, and then some little tabs. So that could be useful, especially if I get this job that I'm interviewing for right now. Oh, and then I see a book sleeve. And that's what it looks like. And it says, Aglamony Academy. I don't don't know. I've never heard of that. Then we have the third in the book tin, and this is for White London. Oh, I see what the book is. Okay, this is what it looks like, and it says the Sunday King Magic Restored. And then on the back it says on this awk, which I think is a spell for the book. And it says, and then at last the world breathed in. So that's what it looks like. I don't really use these. I kind of just put them on my bookcase and use them as decor because they're pretty. Even though I've never read A Darker Shade of Magic. And the book that I see is something that I've seen a lot around booktube and Goodreads. And that is A Lesson in Vengeance by Victoria Lee. So we're going to open this and see. Oh, it's got sprayed edges. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. So see, it's got silver sprayed edges, which I think the only other book we got for silver sprayed edges was The Kingdom of Back. I believe and maybe Winterwood. I don't remember if Winterwood has sprayed edges or not, but... This is the Dear Reader letter that comes with every book. Um, if you're new here, I don't read these until I read the book because I find that sometimes it contains a little bit of spoilers and I like to go in as blind as possible to the Owl Crate books. 
So now we're gonna, oh, it's got a planchette. It's got a planchette on the front in foil. And then that's what the spine looks like. And then it looks like we have got some dust jacket art. And I guess these are the two main characters. It says, I want to find a loose thread on the collar of her shirt and tug. I want to unravel her. And then the other side says, magic can pull you in, pull you under. Every spell is a pomegranate seed on your tongue, binding you to the underworld. Oh my goodness. And the art is also in tarot card form. So I, I'm going to love this. I might actually start reading this after I'm done with the book that I'm currently reading. Because I'm like, it sounds spooky and atmospheric and I am here for it and I'm ready. Of course, I'm always ready for spooky season. Can you tell by the, my background? Okay, then we have the, I can get this out. Then we have the newsletter. Okay, yeah, they just changed the background from a dark, I think it's a dark purple. Yeah, it's like a dark purple, the original, which is why I was like, I've seen this book, I just hadn't seen it in the white. So I think that's an interesting change to go to the complete opposite, which they've done a lot. I've been, they've done several times. Um, and then we have Dark Academia Quote Match. I've never read any of these books. I've heard of The Secret uh, History by Donna Tartt. I might read that. And I know I want to read If We Were Villains because uh, Books and La La, um, it's one of her favorite books and she highly recommends it. So, um, and then we have Like a Lesson in Vengeance, try these great reads. I haven't read any of these. I know that uh, Books and Lala has also read Catherine House, and I don't remember if she liked it or not, but I do recognize that one. Okay, and then this week, this month's um, playlist is called The Sunday King, um, inspired by White London and Tari Holland Voisic. I'm sure for you guys who have read um, A Darker Shade of Magic, that means something to you. It means nothing to me. And then I don't think I'm going to read any of these books. One of them, Devil in the Device, looks like it might be the sequel to Goddess in the Machine. The one in the middle, uh, which I haven't read yet. I will eventually. I'm slowly making my way through my TBR. And I'm so excited for next month's theme. And it is Haunted Hearts. Spooky season is here and I am ready. And it looks like... Every September box will include an item designed by Licton and Limestone. So no telling what that is. It looks like maybe a print or something like, or some wearable item. I don't know. That's interesting. Now let's find out what everything is about. Oh, okay. The book sleeve is from the Raven Boys. Um, which I haven't read, so I wouldn't have known that. Like I said, the collectible book tin is a darker shade of magic. Truly devious, I guess, is what the T was inspired by. If We Were Villains is the reading kit. That's interesting, so I would definitely want to read If We Were Villains. The library stamp, uh, what it says on it, it says, Ex Libris is Latin for From the Library Of. I guess this is meant to be a metal bookmark, which is interesting. Um, that's from the secret history. For some reason, I thought it was a Christmas ornament because we get a Christmas ornament every year, but I don't remember what box it comes in. So that's my mistake. I probably won't use it. It's kind of too delicate and I don't really like the style of it, but I like the book. I, do, I mean, I like the case. I do like the case. <laughs> And then of course the uh, uh, pin was inspired by the book. So lots of interesting things in here. Um, not really my kind of uh, book box. I thought that maybe they're, I don't know, I don't really know what I expected, but I definitely will not be using this. I don't drink tea and I won't be using the bookmark. I'm just gonna keep the box and then give the bookmark to somebody else. So yeah, um, I guess I will see you guys later. Bye.